Hello, Paul is best for UK here, and welcome to another video. So we've got two games today because of the lack of game a day yesterday. I apologise about that. Something come up, I had to sort it out. So we've got two games today. So the first one is Sonic Riders on the GameCube. So let's just start the game. There it is, Sonic Riders. This is obviously a Sega game, and it's not licensed by Nintendo. We want to sort that back in the 90s. Okay, so we've got our controls here, so new game. Yes, new game. Press the wrong button there. So let's have a look at this one. I don't think I've played this. Or have I? I can't remember. Maybe I have played it. We've got some nice music there, so... Yeah, just some basic options. So uh, let's start the game and see what we got with this one. Because, yeah, like I said, I don't remember if I played this. All the way back in 2006 it was made. I'm just going to go for normal race, so it's obviously a racing game of some description. Free race, that'll do. Ah, so we've got a track selection. We've got Metal City, Splash Canyon, Egg Factory, Green Cave, Sand Ruins to start us off. My choice, Splash Canyon, it sounds good. I'll be Sonic, of course. Ah, so... Let's have a look at this. No, I don't think I've actually played this. I thought I played most of the Sonic games, but I don't think I've actually played this one. I can't remember Sonic being on like a sort of snowboard star device. I can't remember a game like that. So into Splash Canyon. Nice graphics. Really nice graphics. Right. How do I move? Right, okay, so this is Sonic Riders. It's some sort of racing game. So you can pull the tricks off as well. I'm doing absolutely terrible at it. Yeah, graphics are really good. Whoa! Going down the waterfall and shit. What's going on? Whoa, height. Crazy, it's all crazy on this game. Yeah, I've definitely never played this one before. So we're going through the uh, caves there. Seems to have a bit of pixelization on the graphics. I wonder if that's down to the emulator. Because normally on the GameCube you've got smoothed over graphics, didn't you? But yeah, even so it looks apart. The emulator's doing a decent job. Whee! Quite fun actually. She keeps saying I failed everything. <laughs> so let's come out of this and uh, let's have a look at one of the other courses. And we'll try being a different character as well. We'll go for free race. We'll try, try the first one, Metal City. And we'll be Tails this time. See if we can get off to a better start this time because I can't. Interesting, you have to hold up down on the analog stick to accelerate, or at least you do at the start of the level. That's why I was pressing A, B, right trigger, left trigger, and I couldn't accelerate it. Music's good, isn't it? Ah, you can run before the timer starts. Whoops. I don't think you're supposed to run before the timer starts to get electrocuted like that. Music's awesome. Seems like you're gonna use up. Interestingly, you have to use up on the analog stick to accelerate. But yeah, the graphics are good. Nice game, nice game. And uh, this is the first of two games I'm going to look at on this game of day. And I'm going to give this one a nice 8 out of 10. Seems like quite a fun game, actually. So let's go on to the next game, which is going to be um, uh, Hot Wheels World Race. Hot Wheels World Race. So let's have a look at this one. 
So this is Hot Wheels World Race coming onto the screens there. And uh, yes, here we go. So just to let you know, I've decided what game system or computer system I'm going to be doing for Game of Day in June. It's going to be back to, I've done this one before, the Commodore 64. So we're going to have some uh, Commodore 64 games to look at next month. Um, I'm going to try and keep them a bit more obscure than the ones everyone knows to make it a bit more interesting. And uh, I'll try not to repeat any of my others I've done before, but it's going to happen. I've done that many videos now. So let's uh, start this one. This is Hot Wheels World Race on the GameCube, the last game, GameCube game in A4 So let's start the game. We've got challenge single player options. We'll have a look in the options first. Say level, music, level controls, data. Yeah, just, just, just your average one of the milk uh, options there. So uh, let's have a look. Oh, it's saving to our virtual memory card. Go for single player, quick waste, because it's a uh, game of day. Easy. We've got all these control players here. We've got Seed Shock, Crazy Overboard. We'll go for Overboard. He sounds like a jolly chap. Uh, we've got some track selections here. Only one to choose because you have to unlock them. That's quite often the case on these games. These are games of this sort of era. So we can show you, it shows us our force field, like some jumps and stuff. Sometimes it's a good idea to save Nitrox for jumps. Okay, fair enough. So we wait for the game to load. It's obviously based on the Hot Wheels franchise. That's one toy I never had as a kid, the Hot Wheels toys. Whoa, what's going on with the resolution? Okay, so at least it's figured itself out there. Okay, that's going to be annoying a little bit. The resolution keeps coming from big to small, big to small. Maybe a bug in the emulator, I don't know. Wee. So yeah, just as expected. Let's see if I can do something about that. Let's go back to uh, the main menu. Let's see if there's a, a, a display option in the options somewhere. Okay, so yeah, they don't always go to plan. That's what happens with Game of Day. Let's go for... Oh, we haven't got a display option, have we? Okay, we're just going to have to pull up with it, because... I do apologise about that. Let's just go back into it, and let's just have a look. Single player, quick race, easy. We'd be the same guy. Overboard. Right, okay, so... Might try and move in the emulator window a little bit to see if uh, that does anything, but I don't think it will. To be honest, it's probably a bug in the emulator. I'm using Dolphin version 5.0.21464 under Windows 11. Okay, so let's try this again. Whoa, wrong button. Yeah, it's still doing it. That's a shame, isn't it? I was hoping to show this game off. So, if we can just about ignore that. Yeah, it looks like we've got a decent game under it. Stop it. Whee! Stunt jump. Yes, I just like to expect it, just like on Hot Wheels, it's all about stunts. And you've got like some really tall hills and stuff, like jumps. Really massive jumps. But nice graphics on the game. I have to admit that sunset looks lovely. This is a game I would have loved to have back in the day. On my actual GameCube. But I never did have it. First time I'm playing it to be honest. Here we go. Whee! Whoa! Flipping round. So we've got some sort of Nitrox activated. So yeah, there's probably an option in the emulator somewhere to stop that from doing that with the display. I do apologise about that. But at least you sort of get to see what the game looks like. Wee Style. Wee. I'm not sure I use an Nitrox actually. Okay, so that changes view, so we've got an internal view as well. 
Anyway, so that's Hot Wheels. I do apologise about the screen flickering like that. But yeah, that's uh, Hot Wheels on the Nintendo GameCube. It's called Hot Wheels World Race. And I'm going to give that one a nice 7 out of 10. Seems like a pretty decent uh, driving game, to be honest. So uh, thank you for watching. I look forward to doing New Year Commodore 64 Game of Day. If you've got any suggestions for Commodore 64, let me know. And I'll see you in June's video.